Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you. Watch the joint I did the other day, right? Where I was talking about Easy to Block Captain. I was talking about uh, Hitman Holler. I was talking about A Ward, like the teams and A Ward versus Chess 10,000. Sue Surf was willing to bet that money versus Hitman Holla. What did I say specifically, if you remember? If A Ward gets backed by Hitman Holla, you're gonna see him sooner than later. And it ain't gonna be versus none none. No disrespect to none none, salute to him. But it ain't you you will see him sooner than later. Don't get it twisted because what you know gets you there, who you know keeps you there. We've literally seen URL, we've seen other leagues force niggas on us for years that we didn't want to see. A Ward is somebody that people want to see. He's got Hitman Holler back in him. Hitman Holler says, tell URL me and A Ward ready to come over there and smoke something. Don't send no little names our way. And if you do, be ready to bet 10,000 on A Ward opponent. Choose wisely. He's got the stamp and backing of one of Battle Rap's biggest names. Probably the biggest, him and Hollis the biggest name, period. He's on Wild and Out, hella successful, millions of followers on the gram, doing numbers inside and outside of Battle Rap. There are a lot of people who, if they were in his position, and he was on BT not too long ago, if they was in his position, they would have transcended over left and never came back. Niggas would have got their bread and got clean out of the way. You see what Conceded did. Like, these be wanting, every couple months, niggas talking about, oh, I want to see Conceded, Conceded versus Roman Hitty, Conceded versus that nigga. You're not going to see Conceded again. It's not happening. <laughs> Y'all been running the same story for like the last three, four, five years. It ain't happening. The man is well successful in his career. He's doing his thing. He's on TV every day. The jewels is there. The big crew, just follow him on the ground. You think he's going to come down and battle when you dirty nigga? It's not going to happen. But now, Hitman Holla, he likes the competition. He likes the wreck. He likes to be involved. He likes to put that money on the showroom floor. Hey, you sleeping on the show. He likes to come down here and still show niggas he got a handle. Like, he, he don't got no problem with that. You know, some people that, the, I would much rather see someone move on and do bigger things than to stay inside of a game that they don't, they're not going to be competitive in. You know what I'm saying? If you're not going to be competitive, you're not going to be a killer. You're not going to be a monster. There's no reason to stick around. But he definitely is at a point in his life where he's like, yo, I can still do this. What's up? Who won it? And now with him back in A-War, why would Hitman battle A-War? It only makes sense. Think about it. You from the Midwest, right? Kansas City, Midwest. Battle rapper, that's fire, Midwest. Not getting your stamp of approval. Not getting brought in. Because of politics. This is strictly what it is. A Ward had, had battles that he was offered in the past. He was offered the battle for free. He said no. Him versus Real Sick was supposed to happen on a volume card. They asked him to do the battle for free. He said no. I don't blame him. I wouldn't battle for free. You know what I'm saying? Like They asked him to do the battle. He said no. Period. He was supposed to battle in New Jersey Twerk. But New Jersey Twerk, you know, he had gotten to the car accident and shit. And the battle didn't happen. So it's like, a, it's like event after event, a stream of bad luck to where now he went from New Jersey twerk offer, a real sick offer, to now we give you none, like we're offering you that. And the, the offers just keep going down, 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 down. It's like, nah, fuck that. That's what he feels. I mean, uh, F that, you know, for the Christians. He's like, F that. He don't want to do that. He didn't say that, but I'm saying that for him. So he looking at it like, nah, that's not going to happen. And now he's got Hitman Hollow backing him. With a 10-piece nugget. Yo, I put 10, I put 10 on it. Who is you all gonna put up against him and say, yo, we got 10 on it too? Who's gonna there's nobody that's gonna come out and there may be people who believe they could get with him and dance and wreck him or even beat him. There's people who probably believe that. But are they gonna bet are they gonna put ten thousand on it? Cause Hitman Holler money good. Hitman money good. <laughs> if you don't know, it's money good. 
he a bet with. He'll bet on A-Ward. In a heartbeat, too. And A-Ward will show up and A-Ward will wreck shop. And with having that backing behind him, um, it gives more validity because when he's trying to come in on his own, you know, they can give him all kind of bullshit. They can hit him with the, oh, you got to battle Crucible Tony and boo, 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 and all these other niggas that he already know he better than. Why? You you got him and holler back and you, he make that call. Yo, all right, cool. This is what's going to happen. I guarantee you. Like I said, I told y'all the other day, if he gets, if Hitman Holler brings A-Ward onto his team or into his side, you're going to see A-Ward sooner than later and it ain't going to be against none of them. I said that shit like a day ago. <laughs> so you're going to see it happen. I promise you you're going to see it happen. I said that life is all about give and take and nobody's going to just uh, give, 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 give. You know what I'm saying? And A-Ward, I do, the one thing I do respect is his stance. He's been standing on this for about three years now. It has literally been about three years that he's not taking the short end of the stick. He's not going for what he feels like is less than worth. And you got to respect that. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people was giving Jazz flack when she wasn't battling, when she wasn't getting the price that she wanted. That was all that was strictly about. Jazz would battle years ago. Who was he? You got no money. She wanted. You don't got no money. You got no honey. A Ward would have battled and will battle, but he just doesn't feel like he's going to take no subsidiary name that ain't put in the work that he's put in. Whether on or off. You can't try to book me against somebody that you're not even booking. How that work? How that work? A nigga, you're not even booking. You're not even booking. You want to book me against somebody you're not even booking. Now, if there's somebody in rotation with flotation, then okay, we cool. We cool. That, that name rock. They rocking with him. They got him look. You ain't even booking. You try to book him against somebody you're not even booking. That nigga's crazy for that shit. I think need to stop that dumb shit. But, um, yeah. Hitman Holler's back in this with a 10-piece. Not no five. A 10-piece nugget. I think it could get very interesting. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I told y'all Sue Surf is willing to put that money on chess. Let's see where that goes. I mean, it's, it's really, 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 the streets is getting interesting. I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. It's getting really, really interesting out here to see where a lot of this stuff goes. And I definitely like the direction. Battle Rap 2022, they just, it, the energy has just been up, like all over the place. Like everybody's been wild. And I seen Bill Collector wilding. Uh, you know, Bill Collette said he'll beat Mook, and, and it's just been, it's been up. And yo, the craziest thing about it is, there's a whole event going on this weekend, and ain't nobody talking about a full, whole out event going on this weekend. You got Danny Myers versus Tay Rock, that's gonna be cool. You got, uh, who else? This, this man is Sharon versus JC. That's gonna be cool. That's another super fight battle. Uh, what else? I'm, a, I'm, a, I, I ain't gonna act like I know the whole card. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna cap like I ain't put no cap in my rap like I know the whole shit. Uh, Chilla Jones versus Sirius Jones. That's cool. Drugs versus Luke Cash. I don't really care about that. Swave Seven versus Anderson Burris. That's fire. You know what I'm saying? Like I, you got some. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny to see what sway, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is, it's going to be, yo, they got this white boy in front of me. <laughs> it is the birds with his promotional game and all that shit, man. Like, I think it's know what it is, man. We're we going to see, uh, but what we will see is we're going to see how it goes. But yeah, A-War, 10K, your money's on the floor. <laughs>